never trust a skinny chef. Okay, today I have my favorite subscriber here, Sebastian. What's up? How does it feel? Good. What are we doing today? What, did you bring something? I did. What did I you bring? I brought my uh, computer. Wow. Hello, guys. This one. Who, who, who I had? Hole it packard. Uh -huh. Hole it. Hole it. Hole it. Hole it. Packard. It's very beautiful. Uh, it's quite a good looking computer for being a PC. <sighs> it's a lot of stuff going on here. And we have been doing this for four hours. Plus another like hour and a half. So five and a half. Five and a half hours. To take a picture of one computer to make it look good. Yes, it, it's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of C-stands and arms and... Uh, Plenty of it. And we cannot show this because then this will be too long, of course. So, but we will take you through it, the process. We will, sure will. How we did it. So, let's start with that guy. Let's take... Ooh. Ooh. Was it you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just touched it. Huh? <coughs> Chef done. <laughs> Very nice computer. Very beautiful. Looks pretty good. And we put it in on this arm, yes, to how to um, mess up the studio in one step. <laughs> right now, we have this flash on. We, it's just bare uh, flash, so it's quite wide. So the whole the top of the computer is nicely lit, actually. It's quite evenly lit, and we don't really want it evenly lit. We kind of want shadows. Shadows. Because shadows dramatic. make it look three-dimensional. This light, as you can see on the picture, it hits the background also. Basically, it hits everything in this studio. Yeah, up to here. So what to do next? To, if you want to make this dramatic, what shall we do then? Well, we don't want light all over the computer. So do we need to spot it a bit or we focus could, the light? We could bit? try it. Do you have, have the time, time to listen to, listen to, me, to me, me? Green Day. I think this is a good option. Give it a try. Yeah. So, maybe it will be a bit more spotted. Shall we take a test shot? So there's a big difference on the background, not so much on the actual computer itself. No. It's a really nice light though. Like, I like the evenness of it, but it's not really what we're looking for. So, if we want it more, even more spotted, if we don't want as much light, as much light as we've got right now, what do we do? Well, as always, bring out the honeycomb. The question is, should we have the five or 10 degree? Five. Five. Yeah, let's try five. Then it will be extremely, yeah. Okay, I will put it on. Your wish is my command. I you heard it. I forgot to say uh, in the beginning of the video, you have to stay to the end because then we have the 1000 subscribers giveaway. You have to stick around for that one. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 1,000. 34. 1,034 celebration. You know, it's crazy. Where's the uh, balloons? And wow. But now, back to this. So what's I, happening? I put on this five degree and this will, will be very spotted now. So should we take another shot? What happens now? Will it? Wow. Big difference. This is so cool. Gradients. This is what we live for. Shadows. We live, we lurk in the shadows. We lurk in the shadows. Oh my God, this is beautiful. So pretty extreme I'm going from bright to dark. Mm -hmm. So what if we want to be somewhere in the middle? We want to even it out a bit, not to be as harsh as it is right now. I think I know what you mean. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have something over there? Oh, maybe we could try this one. Translucent Go. paper. But normally you don't use on this matte surface. Right now, we are, now the light goes like, it's hitting here, yeah. So we're using the edge of the light to feather it so it will create this gradient as you see. But it's a bit hot spotted. It's a bit hot in the corner. Harsh. harsh in the corner. So if we take another shot right now, when I put, now let me go through. Ah. You see? So if we Bef actually... Look at the before and then after. Before? You see, a bit spotted. And, and now we get smoother edges, even more smoother. And it looks stunning, I will say. Super nice. So I think we're quite happy with this one. Uh, this one, now you saw it, it, it we showed it. It took like uh, one minute, but we spent like two, three hours to create this. That's how it is in real life, you know. You have to test and test and try and try and try. 
So what's next? Trial and error. If you look at the, we can only see the top of the computer. We see nothing of the inside or anything else but the top side of it. So what if we put in another flash? When we set up this, we were thinking maybe we'd like to show a bit inside the keys. Yes. Keys and a little bit of the, it's a chrome edge on it that we want to show as well. Awesome. Now you can actually see the computer is back again, back to floating. You see a little bit of the keys, you see the trackpad. You can, the computer instantly becomes more 3D than it was before when we had only lights from but, above. Yes, you're correct. But at the time, right now, when I stand here, the background and look at the flash, I can see the flash. Which means? Which means there will be light on the background where I stand. It will be even be light here. We have to skärma av. Skärma av. Yes, we have to, to put, we put on this zoom reflector and then we take another shot. You see, suddenly, okay, I'm here in the background, but, um, <laughs> Now we blocked it from hitting the background, yeah. So if you compare this one, which was before, yeah. uh, compared to this one when we have the zoom reflector on it. Yeah, and now we have a total black background, almost. Uh, almost. Because we can actually do the same thing as we did with the first light. So we get this very small light source. We put on this honeycomb grid and get out of the frame. Bam! What do we get now? Now we get a totally black background. You see, yeah? now we have some interest in the picture. It's very dramatic and nice. And your eyes always go to the brightest spot. And with this, it kind of stays at the brightest spot. It doesn't lead you anywhere. Mm -hmm. So what if we would get a bit of light on the side of it, on the other side out? Yes, let's try that. Let's try to put some... Let's give it a go. Light on the side. Actually, we will reflect the light from this guy. Sebastian, he put this, uh, just a foam board, and that one will pick up the light from this guy, and then it will bounce onto this side. Can, maybe Him we can put on the live view so they can see. Yes, do we, yeah, we see on the live view, yeah. This, and even if I do this, where I take it away, you see immediately, it, now it it's totally dark, like we have it on the shot. And now when mm -hmm. he plays it back in, we will, have, we will have some... Uh, it's magic. Yeah, some reflection, and this will be visual. Let's take a shot. And now, you see, fantastic. And he even managed to get like a, a gradient fading out. Very beautiful. So what else could we do with the picture to make it... Interesting. I would normally want to li make like a rim a kicker from back so it will not disappear totally. But what if we uh, light up the background? Exactly. Let's do it. And the background today, first we tested out to take one of those seamless paper background. The black one. And they it looked like this, which is not very good. No, it's, uh, it's very, you should never store them hanging up. They should always be stored standing. Because now they, they and then suck. they become So we couldn't use that one. So then we took this IKEA to blur blackout roller blind. Roller blind. Roller blind. So this one we use. It's matte material and it's very <coughs> you know Let's turn on the flash for the Ooh. background. Is it that guy? Well, take a shot. So that's not very, that's not very nice, is it? There's shadows. There is, yeah, it's just not killing the picture. Wow. Not very good. So. But what did we do wrong? <laughs> it is actually a bulb that sticks out, which means that the light is coming pretty much everywhere. I and wish I could put on the model light. Woo. Yes. It goes everywhere. It even goes onto the computer and that makes the shadow f from this arm, you know. So we have to, like we did with the other guys, put on something. And we have this. So what do you have on it? It's a blue gel. Why? Because blue is my favorite color. 
So let's put it on and see if it makes any... Look at that! <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. So if you look at that, where we had it before, we, the flash was just hitting everywhere. Everything, the computer. Uh, and now when we put on the zoom reflector, it only hits the background. And we added the blue gel and it looks expensive. But there's a blue cost on the top of the computer, which is not really what we want. No. We want it to be nice and clean and white since it's a silver computer and we want it to pop from the background, from the blue background. And the reason, why is the reason? Well, this blue light bounces off the background and onto the computer. So we can block, if we block the light from hitting the computer, if you put something here, it would uh, probably work, yeah? Something like this. It's like a black flag. I'm flagging it off. Did we get something there? Yeah. So as you see, if you compare this picture to that picture, the blue is gone and it's just a deeper black shadow. Well, is this it? Piece I of mean, cake. it was very simple today. Very simple. But if we're going to be real about it, how many hours did we spend on getting this highlight on this one? <laughs> Three hours? Maybe three hours, three hours about that. And how many times did we change this flash to get the perfect gradient on top of it? Maybe two hours. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, this is just didn't happen. We didn't put them up, up randomly. I mean, trial and error. What looks good? Yeah. And I have to find the right spot for the flashes. That's the hard part. And what if you don't really know what the right spot is? How do you figure it out? You have to walk around with a flash, put on the modeling light and just try and try and try and test and take hundreds of test pictures. Like we took yesterday, I think I saw on the computer, 457 pictures. 457. 457 test images before we got to this result. And, it's and then we took another, I think, 150 or so today. Oh, 600 plus test images to get where we are now, yeah? So it looks easy. We just flick the flashes on and it looks perfect. But there is a lot of work behind it. It's a lot, a lot of work. So, you know, it's a lot of testing. Um, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, I think, I hope you can be a bit inspired <coughs> in this episode. The, <coughs> uh, the idea... 1K. Why I have this actually i i wanted to my idea was to the guys who come here like you my favorite subscribers will get one of those but i'm sorry i only have one <laughs> <laughs> so this we will give away that's a little bit too big for me it's so uh, it's, okay. <laughs> it's very very big it's excel so have bear that in mind maybe you can if you will win the t-shirt you can give it to your father or something whatever so how do you win it? You have to be a sus subscriber, of course. And in the comments, you... What did we come up with? You have to give the best idea on what's the, ne what's the next thing to photograph. What's next to photograph? What's Probably it will be a tutorial with me. Martin's next mission. What, just leave a comment, like car or... And if you have more knife. suggestions, leave more comments. Yes. So it, w it, are we clear? It, it, now I think I messed <laughs> it up. Uh, We're leave not a comment. Leave a comment what I should photograph to show you how to photograph. Basically, it. what do you want to see? The best comment will win this T-shirt. Okay. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Fantastic. It's not the first time. No. There is actually the pilot of Sub's Choice. We made that one. And maybe one day. Maybe. <laughs> we will show the pilot. So maybe when we hit 50,000 subscribers, then we will show the pilot with Sebastian and me. So subscribe and everything, you know, you know the drill. If not subscribing, subscribe and like. And don't forget to comment so you can win this t-shirt, okay? See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>